close interactions between humans and machines in technologies like soft robotics, wearable computers, and healthcare will require conductors that can conform with the body's movements and stretch when needed. Materials that are traditionally used to conduct electricity, like copper wires, can be made flexible but can't be stretched. One route to stretchable conductors is to mix a conductive material, like carbon black or silver flakes, with an elastomer like silicone rubber. Unfortunately, if too much rigid filler is added, the material becomes, well, rigid. Material scientists can use gallium-based liquid metals as alternatives to rigid fillers. Gallium-based liquid metals, like the one shown here, typically have melting temperatures below room temperature and are safer than alternatives like mercury. A unique feature of gallium-based liquid metals is the gallium oxide skin that spontaneously forms. The oxide skin stabilizes the droplets in abnormal shapes, as can be seen here. When the skin is removed with hydrochloric acid, for example, the droplets form into spheres. Droplets are easily formed by mixing the liquid metal into uncured silicone rubber. After curing, the liquid metal composite is compliant and deformable, an improvement relative to composites made with rigid fillers. And, the liquid metal composite can be electrically conductive, even while being stretched. Since the filler is liquid, it deforms with the matrix when stretched. Having composites with stretchability and conductivity is great, but the future of conductive composites will require additional functionalities, like active shape morphing. By using liquid metal in a shape morphing polymer, shape morphing can be activated by electrical heating. The future of soft robotics, wearable computers, and healthcare will rely on materials that are stretchable and conductive, which is possible with liquid metal composites. The potential for new materials that scientists and engineers haven't even dreamed up yet that include liquid metal is unbounded, and material science and engineering make it possible. <laughs>